What's going on, Tuddy Squad? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're about to go over the most insane defense in Madden 23. Let's get right into the breakdown. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button. My whole LB, boom, come out here, look for work, and we should have either the cornerback or we should have a disengage. The play we're going to be going over is the overstorm, but out of the 3 3 will. Bill's defensive playbook. Now, as you can see, one of my linemen is standing up on the right side. That's going to make the block sheds even more glitchy. you either going to get a pass off through the middle or you're going to get super fast edge pressure. Okay, so what you want to do is shade outside as much as possible as we get the pressure in. And you know how it is, an interception right to the lineman. Okay, so let's break this down. I like to bring my guys closer a step into the box. This time we were blitzing the cornerback. So that for we get a looper fresh through the middle and super fast pressure. You're going to have lockdown defense. Shade to the outside is key. Now you can individually shade a solo receiver if he's to the outside by itself. So if they have a trips to one side where the solo receiver is at, you can manually shade him to the inside, okay? Everybody else, you won't shade it outside because your user is in the middle. If you are shaded to the outside, you're going to have the best coverage possible, and you can watch the middle. As you can see, I'm looking for any route that is breaking open, and we got the super fast cornerback blitz. Super fast. All I do is peach my entire team. I walk the guys down one step, and as you can see right there, they pick up the cornerback, but now somebody else is going to get free. Either a disengage engage from the edge or a disengage through the middle so i'm watching these routes right here everything is locked down man coverage is super super effective now you have to watch out for abilities you have to watch out for double moves so shade outside and you can shade over the top if you don't have the best speed cornerbacks so on a third and 20 it's hard for my opponent to find an opening it's a lot of people that do motions on the field that's when you would make adjustments as you can see right here i take one of them top safeties and i put him into a zone off the top and i'm stuck on the lineman but we still have great great defense behind it so i would mix it in i would put a hard flat on one of the blitz and linebackers i would take who's manned up on the running back put him into a zone okay so it's a lot of things you can do on the back side or you can play all out man coverage and you're also going to get great great run defense as long as you crash your line outside sometimes you have to do it two times for it to register as you can see he's trying to run over and over down seven to zero in the third quarter he's trying to run the ball second and 11 okay so i'm making my adjustments right here you can see i'm making my adjustments i have shade to the outside he's trying to run it so we get that guy picked up through the gap and we have the safety coming down in the run fits. So you don't want people backpedaling out of your defense. You want people that's going to react to the run and then play the pass second. So third and 11 coming up right here. He's trying to run to the other side. As you can see, we were about to get that edge, but instead we get a looper through the middle. So as you can see right here, I am hovering over the middle. You make your adjustments behind and the running back is wide open on that right side. So I'm watching that. He goes out for a route right there. I come back through the middle and before he can throw it down the field, it is locked down. Use these tips and dominate. 